Hey guys, so in this video we are going to be learning how to make the two-stranded rainbow loom bracelet. So here's just a couple examples of what I have. So let's get started. So the supplies you're going to need is a rubber band of some type, any color or anything, and um, you can get the packs pretty much everywhere sells them now. Um, you're also going to need something to seal your rubber bands off with. Um, any pack you buy will come with either an S-clip or a C-clip. So you're going to need those. Then you're also going to need two thumbtacks. Like these. And you're going to need a surface that you can um, tack them into. Mine, I'm just going to use my um, cutting mat because I do duct tape. Um, you know. And you're also going to need a tool to um, get the rubber bands up. I got this from Walmart in the sewing section for $1.28, and it works very well. And you don't really need this, but it just makes it a lot easier than having to, like, fidget with your fingers. Um, so to start out your bracelet, you're just going to want to space the pegs out just by a little bit. Then you're going to want to take your first... Um, rubber band that you want and loop it on one end and then twist it like this and put it on the outer. Then just push that down. You're going to take one that you want to be your next color, loop it on and then be sure to push it down. Then you're going to take your tool or finger and get under it, pull it up, let it go, and then do the same thing on this side. Oops. And you can also use your fingers like that. Then I just like to pull it like this, and I like to attach my clip right now, just because I like to pull it like this, and then slide the clip in there. That way it's just like that. Then what you're going to do is whatever color is on top, you're going to add another one of those rubber bands, and you're just going to do it straight across like normal. Make sure your pegs are in. Then just loop under it. And let it go on top, and then the second time should be really easy. So then just keep repeating this and make sure to push it down. That's a problem a lot of people have right there. If you see the one that I'm putting on top goes under it, so you don't want that to happen. You want it to just go right above it. And then smush it down, then take your tool your finger, whatever you're using, it doesn't really matter as long as it gets the job done. And then just keep repeating this process for a little bit, and I am going to do a time lapse on this. Once you decide that your bracelet is big enough, um, well, I mean, just how to do that is just, like, size it out in what you think will be a good size. Um, I think this will be a good size. It is about five inches, just, like, not even stretched. Um, but that's not counting the extra loops that will be up here. So, to finish it off, what you're going to do is just take one. It doesn't matter what color because it won't be on the bracelet. Just put it on like you normally would. And then you're going to take it and bring it up like you normally would. And then what you're going to do is tightly hold on to it and take it off the loom. Then you're going to tightly hang on to the part that um, you are going to loop. Then I just take it, stretch it out, and put my finger in it like this and then stretch it out and then take my clip and I do it like hold on well, I just clipped it that's how easy it is I didn't even mean to so once it's stretched you could just take your clip and then just stick it in just like that and there you have a bracelet so once again here's the final product it is about this big um, 
here it's this big the, it's about two inches around mine is and it'll stretch and this is what it looks like on my wrist it fits almost perfectly and my wrist is i don't know <laughs> but that's a bad example anyway i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please give this video a thumbs up and yeah just let me know if you want more rainbow and tutorials i can definitely do a fish tail um, but yeah, and let me know if you guys would like to see other tutorials on here, because if you guys are just watching this because it's a rainbow loom tutorial, I do, um, a bunch of duct tape stuff on this account, as I've already said, so, yeah, I just figured I'd do a rainbow loom tutorial because it would have been fun, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, please comment, like, and subscribe, and bye guys!